All right, Shalom. And first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect, to the house of David. This is the book of John 14 and verse 1. The point I want to make is going to be in verse um, verse 6, but we start up at 1. <clears throat> it says, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in the Most High, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know. And the way you know. Thomas said unto him, the him is referenced to Yahweh Shah. Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto my father, unto the father but by me. So again, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. The honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. It says, No man. Can come unto the Father but by him. The him is Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That means Yahweh Shah is the way back unto the Heavenly Father, that mediator for us, man. And we must believe in Yahweh Shah. You know? And this is and this is. It's through faith that we believe in the names Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, why the Rakakudash, you know? Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah, Rakakudash, man. You know? And um, on the way that we're going to get back to the Heavenly Father is through the Son. It's through, it's through the Son, our head. This is, um, let's, let's run over here real quick to 1 Corinthians. Let's get this order, man. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse um, verse 3. <clears throat> it says, But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is the most high. You know? So the head of the man, we must reverence Yahweh Shah, which is our head, to get to the Heavenly Father, which is his head. You know? Like the woman gonna be saved through the man, you know, by childbearing. We're gonna be saved through Yahweh Shah. We all gonna be saved through Yahweh Shah in that order, man. And it's gonna be by from the heavenly father through Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son who he sent, you know, and gave all power to, man. All authority is given unto him. You know. And as the scripture says. He that climbed, you know, I just grab it real quick. Uh, this is John chapter 10. Let's start at 1. <clears throat> verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. You know? The, the door referencing Yahweh Shah. Verse 2, but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter opened. And the sheep hear his voice, and he called his, his own sheep by name and leadeth them out. Let's go down to verse um. Let's, let's go to verse 7. Let's start at verse 6. It says, um, actually, we just read through this. And the stranger will they and the stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of the strangers. This parable Yahweh Shah spake unto them. You know, Yahweh Shah spake this parable unto them and says, But they understood not what, what the things 
they were they were which they were which he spake unto them. Then Yahweh Shah said unto him, unto them again, verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. This is verse 9. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved. It's going to be through Yahweh Shah that we be saved, right? You know, through faith. It says, um, <clears throat> and shall go in and out and find pasture. So, it's going to be through Yahweh Shah, that mediator, man. That, that he, He's the door, right? He's going to be the way to salvation. Even his name, what his name means. He is salvation, you know? He is salvation. Let's read this in the NLT. Um, verse verse 9 in NLT Yes I am the gate Those who come in through me will be saved They will come and go freely And will find good pastures You know They will find good pastures Because we, we won't know this truth And the truth will make us free How shall I come to make us free man You know See but You got those who won't believe In the heavenly father's son you know, they won't believe in the only begotten son, but try to come up another way. Thinking they can go directly to the heavenly father themselves or through Jesus, you know, right? And and, and they are sadly mistaken. You know, they, they won't, they will, they're going to find out, they're going to come to find out that Jesus is not the way, you know? Yahweh Shai is that straight way, you know, to, to the heavenly father. No, the ways around it. No if ands or buts about it. Straight and direct, you know. But you can, you can, we we, we preach the name Yahweh Shah, but our people don't want to get it, you know. And it's through His name, and we believe in the name, because we know through His name is salvation given. Through His name is salvation given. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah. You know, let's go to John while we're here in John. Let's go to John three. <clears throat> now let's start at um. We can start here at sixteen. Let's go up some. at verse 13 and no man have ascended up to heaven but he that came down from heaven even the son of man which is in heaven let's go, go out going back to you shot it says and as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so the son of man must be lifted up it says that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal life Going back into that life, you're gonna have life. You're gonna have, you're gonna, um, basically, you're gonna have everlasting life, man. For believing in Yahweh Shot, but going into that, being free as well, man. Because through Yahweh Shot, that door, going back up to him being that door, the way, the truth, and the life, right? It says, For the most I so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. For the most I sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that through but that the world through him might be saved. And let's get this word world real quick. This word world. <clears throat> this word world is cosmos. First definition. An apt and harmonious agreement or constitution or the government and who made the harmonious agreement 
with the Heavenly Father. It was the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know? The same Israelites that Moses led out of Egypt. You know? And the same Israelites, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, he said, I will make a covenant with you, a perpetual, and I will make a covenant with you. Right? Forever. Right? We, we could just grab it. We just grab it right quick. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. We make that harmonious agreement with the Heavenly Father. That covenant, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It reads, <clears throat> For thou and holy people unto the Lord thy power. Yahweh thy power and the Lord and Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a special people. Uh, to himself above the pe above all people. All above all people. You know? That are upon the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. The Lord Yahweh did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were few. You were more numbered than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. But because he loved you. It's lucky. Going back into the verse 7. Nor choose you because you were more number than any people, for you were the fewest of all people. Verse 8. But because the Lord, Yahweh, loved you, you so called Latinos, Native Americans, and so called uh, Negroes, man. It says, But because the Lord, Yahweh, loved you, and because he would keep the oath he, which he had sworn unto your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, man. Have the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of Bumman from the hand of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. You know? No, therefore, they say, no, therefore, that he is, no, therefore, that the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, he is the most high, which keep it, the, which is the faithful power, which keep it the covenant and mercy with them that love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations, man. You know, and he gave his commandments to who? Our people. He gave it to us, man. He said, and repay them that hate him to their face. To destroy them, he would not be slack to them, to him that hated him, he would repay him to his face. And this is coming as well, man, because you show how people show hate. That that's why you got a two third and a one third, man. You got those that believe and those that believe not, those that are faithful and those you got that are unfaithful, you know. And he gonna recompense those that are unfaithful to their face, right? Like he said here, because he's not a man that he shall lie, you know. So. What he says he's going to do is he's going to do it, man. He's going to repay you to your face and hate him. And to, and to hate you, how about some y'all shy, is to not keep the commandments, man. You know, not, not want to be in order. Not want to do it as you're told. You know, not want to take correction, nor nor nor, uh, re, nor seek how about some y'all shy, nor repentance. This is how you hate you, how about some y'all shy. Not coming out of the world. Not, 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 not becoming holy. Separating yourself from the ways of this world as you're being called to, you know, because the Lord sent his prophets out in, in, in his name, gave him, gave you his, gave the prophets his name, revealed the secrets unto them. And the prophets are out proclaiming the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai and revealing unto you those secrets, man. But it, it, it is not for all. It's not for everybody to get, you know. How America gonna be judged? You know, Babylon is gonna be judged. Two parts of his people are gonna be cut off. You know, his name, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. You know, who who your enemies are, who revealing who Esau Edom is. You first and foremost, you so-called, first and foremost, who he is and who his chosen people are, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, how that's not your identity. You don't identify to him as so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. Those who he who he made covenants with, you know, made the promises of the children of the fathers who he made promises to, man. And these are the secrets. These are his secrets, man. You know, the MOTB. Like our temptation is gonna come upon the world to try the whole world. I warn you before the destruction come. First, before before this damn devil roll on you, you know, catching you off guard. So therefore. To warn you to get to, so you could be prepared in the spirit and in low. If it's for you, get that that protection, that spiritual protection, man. Because as the scriptures say, we we are uh, we at war, man. You know, not of the flesh, but this is a war of spirit, man. This is this is we supposed to prepare spiritually, man. 
You know, putting on the whole armor of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. You know? But you got our people, they don't. As it is written, that there must be a two thirds, man. They got they, they has to be a unbelievers. It's just it's just a part of the Lord's will. And his will will happen. The word will not return unto him void. But the warning must go out, and the warning is continually going out. His hand is still stretched forth, man. Yep. But the scriptures say you would know that a prophet had been among you, man. You know that you had prophets among you. Those men that was out on the street corners who you call fools or crazy because they was coming out of the scriptures, you know, prophesying to you. But not to know, not knowing that we coming in the spirit of power, you have a shmiel shot, that spirit of prophecy, you know, which is the testimony you have a shot. But only, like I said, only the elect is going to get it because it's only the elect is meant to get it. Only the elect is meant to get it. And Lord willing, we part of the elect. Because we know two-thirds not going to get it. And even to believe is a blessing. You know? Called and chosen, Lord willing. So with that being said, I'm going to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Krakow, Dash. Lord willing to edify him. Double understood the apostles, the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect. Shalom.